Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy, Gardner. Real quick, before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You'll stay up to date with all the cool stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. And thanks. So Sony actually published Hid PlayStation on December 18th. Uh, and it's a new uh, kernel module for the Linux kernel. This is Sony officially having support for PlayStation hardware uh, in the Linux kernel, specifically the DualSense, the PlayStation 5's controller, the DualSense. Um, this is a great controller, I actually really like it. And the fact that Sony is actually publishing their own uh, kernel driver for this in the Linux kernel makes me super duper happy. Up until now, the DualSense has been recognized as a generic controller. Uh, you can like you go into Steam and do some generic controller stuff, uh, configure it as if it was like just some random controller. But now with Sony's 1400 lines of code for the hid PlayStation driver, the DualSense is going to be fully supported in the Linux kernel. Uh, it's going to be supported via Bluetooth and USB modes, and it'll also have LED manipulation. We're gonna have battery support, touchpad support, uh, accelerometer and gyroscopes, Bluetooth mode, USB mode, classic rumble support, light bar support, uh, microphone muting, player specific LED support, and even the ability to read the hardware and firmware versions from the device. Now, personally, I think that this is actually really interesting news because Sony already has hid Sony in the kernel, which uh, is where the DualShock 4 drivers and basically all other Sony hardware lives. Uh, and with this PlayStation driver, what's going to happen is they're actually moving most of the PlayStation hardware out of HID Sony and into HID PlayStation. Uh, just a nice little, neat little organizational thing uh, that I think is like really interesting. DualSense support is implemented in a new HID PlayStation driver, which will be used for peripherals by Sony Interactive Entertainment or PlayStation. HID Sony will be used for devices for the larger Sony group. We intend to migrate existing devices over time gradually to head PlayStation. We do not want to cause any regressions and maintain quality. As such, moving forward, unit tests are performed and we started by providing these through HID tools, including DualSense. The Linux driver exposes DualSense functionality as a composite device, similar to the DualShock 4 in HID Sony, spanning multiple frameworks. First, it exposes three EVDEV nodes for respectively the gamepad, touchpad, and motion sensors. The FF framework is used to provide basic rumble features. The LEDs class is used to implement the player indicator uh, LEDs below the DualSense's touchpad, while the new LEDs class multicolor is used for the light bars next to the touchpad. I did not realize that they were two different uh, LED strips. That's really interesting. What's really exciting to me is that uh, Roderick Colenbrander, the Sony employee who's actually contributing this code to the kernel, uh, is, is interested in bringing the new features of the DualSense to Linux natively, including the, uh, what do they call it, adaptive triggers and the VCS-based haptics or the VCM-based haptics. Um, th it's fascinating to me. Quote, not yet supported are the unique features introduced by the DualSense, such as adaptive triggers and the VCM-based haptics. Those features require a large amount of data and complex data structures. It's not clear how to expose those. The current FDEV and FF frameworks are too limiting. We hope to have a dialogue on how to expose these over time in a generic way. As of right now though, the patches are not scheduled for uh, mainlining into the kernel uh, because they're still under review. But once we know when they are, it'll be interesting to, to actually try them out myself. Now, if you're feeling industrious, you can actually follow the links in the description and you'll be able to build uh, the kernel modules yourself. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I have never had luck building kernel modules myself. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Are you excited to see uh, Sony officially supporting the DualSense 5 on Linux? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. I wanna say thank you to my patrons, without whom I would not be able to do this. It's because of them that I have been able to focus so much of my time and energy on the channel, and I just, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your support. If you believe in the work that I do, you can help support the show over on Patreon. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Every dollar helps. I think that's gonna do it for now though. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the cool stuff I'm doing here on the channel. You can hit that like button, uh, leave a comment below, it all helps. Thank you so much, I'll see you guys in the next one, and have a blessed day.